only honest with you. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Dep Doc here. Welcome back to another honest review on the channel. Today, we are going to be discussing Free Guy. Last night, I went to go see it with some friends. It was a movie that I'm now going to discuss and give you my honest opinion about. But before we get into this video, I'd really appreciate you guys would please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more honest reviews to come in the future yeah. and more content like this to come in the near future. And also follow me on my Instagram and Twitter uh, for updates on videos and future content to come in the future and for questions for a Q&A coming up in the near future if you have any. Yeah, guys, enough self-plugging. Let's hop right into this video. All right, so where do I start with Free Guy? Free Guy is a mix of GTA and the idea of Ready Player One being mixed together. What's the open world idea of you can do whatever you want with the GTA idea of how the world is with people uh, being reckless, being, being catastrophic, doing whatever they want against any rule, flying vehicles, fast cars, robbing banks, it's like all that kind of stuff, and it's like, it's very unique to this idea, because there is no other video game movie like this, if you declare it a video game movie, which it declarably is, the movie starts with your character named Guy, played by Ryan Reynolds, who somehow, we don't, we, you don't really know why, uh, breaks from the system to then turn into a different person because he is an NPC in the movie just like a normal person that works at a bank and basically somehow figures out how to transform into a different person now you do find out why and how the movie continues with everything and you know it just makes sense in the end but besides him like if you cut off Ryan Reynolds as a character for a sec like, every other character and the story, it just makes sense completely all together. They have a great cast with stuff like everything. They make everything make sense. Everything is very, like, understandable in the way of, like, being like, oh, this is, this is our team, this is what we're doing, and it really, the movie really puts a mindset of, like, today's uh, idea of everything for, like, kids-wise and, um, like, the social media side of everything, like, you have YouTubers, you have Twitch streamers, you have everything in the movies that are popping up, and you probably can tell by, like, people showing them, showing their stuff off um, on their Instagram and Twitter, talking about it in YouTube videos, but yeah, like, you have big uh, content creators in this movie, and it really does show that the movie is very open to the idea of, like, it's not in its own world, it's our world, and it really does work like that because it's just like another video game. And the and the movie really does show like the idea of a corrupted like business of how everything works. Um, with the ideas of how games should be built. With the ideas of how games shouldn't be built. Coding. Everything that gets put together in open world games. And just like, I don't know. It's just... Really a an amazing movie in a way. Ryan Reynolds' character is so lovable and the characters around him are great. Like his best friend Buddy and like, you know, he meets characters on the in the future and the ways and it's just really enjoyable of a movie to sit down and enjoy with family, friends, really whatever. Like I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny, it was enjoyable. Just Overall, probably one of my favorite movies of 2021. Um, this movie has been, like, wanting to be released since, like, I think November of 2020. And then got pushed back, thanks to, you know why. And I'm finally glad it came out. And I do believe that Ryan Reynolds did a really good job on promoting the movie. On talking about the movie. On everything, really. I believe that he really did show... Uh, that he he knew what he was doing. And I really hope that they make a sequel for it. Now, I don't know where the sequel really take place in a way. I mean, I have ideas because it, because they kind of leave it in a way being like things aren't perfect, but they are perfect in ways. And you're like, 
well, does that mean a sequel? Does that not mean a sequel? Can there be a sequel? And off the top of my head, I'm really like, I just want a sequel. I want a sequel to this movie because I I would watch it. <laughs> I'd watch it right now. Right now, honestly, I would rewatch that movie right now. I enjoyed that movie so much that I would enjoy it. It has like so much different stuff in it. Like, like if you're not into much of the video game part, it acts like real life. If you're not really into the real life part and you want to separate yourself, there's stuff in video games, characters, uh, money grabbing, bank robbing, high chase, car chasing, action, amazing references to other stuff that I'm not going to say because I don't want to ruin the movie. There's so many awesome references in this movie that when I saw them, I was like, what? And like, and then like the fourth wall broke everything again because you know it's Ryan Reynolds breaks every single uh, fourth wall part in his movies with being Deadpool and stuff like that. Like, like it really, it really does, like it really does show that, um, Brian Reynolds can be more than just Deadpool as a main thing. Like, I'm not trying to say that his only good movies are Deadpool, because that's far from the truth. I'm just saying I'm happy that this movie finally came out, and I have to give him major props for what he did, for how he did it, in every way like that. Like, um, I do... I, I, I don't really have anything to say that I hated about the movie. There really wasn't parts in the movie where I really hated it. Like, the other main characters who are, like, coders. No. Because they're enjoyable. Like, they got, uh... I can't... I don't even know the name of the actor. The guy from Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, I, I hate saying that because like, I really want to say his real name, but I don't know it off the top of my head. Alright, uh, Joe Keery, yeah, okay, Joe Keery, the same guy who plays, uh... okay, he plays Steve, yeah, Steve, and Stranger Things has been gone for a while, but yeah, honestly, his character is great, uh, just everything overall. Great movie. And my final ranking for the movie is probably going to be a 92. Because I have nothing to say about the movie. And the only thing I can say is that I didn't want it to end. So I guess you could say that it's a bad thing, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, guys. I really hope you guys like this review. And I really hope you guys go see Free Guy because it's totally worth it. If you did, please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Yeah, if you already yeah. see for you guys, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the movie. And uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.